Uh, hello, my name is Rafi Kalandarian. Um, I'm here at my Los Angeles studio. Uh, you can see I got some paintings going on for my next show in LA. Um, I have a lot of work to do, <laughs> but it's okay. It's going to be good. Um, you can see downtown a little bit. It's kind of a cloudy day, but I think that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so you have the painting Jock. So I printed it out so that I could talk about it a little bit. Um, this is my friend, I call her Jackie, but her name is Jock, and she is a super funny, super talented artist and filmmaker who, um, she moved to New York, uh, about a year ago or so, but, um, yeah, she's just, uh, one of those people who's very interesting, funny always doing something. Um, she's just a naturally creative person. And she has cool style, so uh, I wanted to make this portrait of her. And I was using this technique that, um, it's like, I get this stuff called cold wax. And I found out that you can use this cold wax on the painting. It kind of comes out like, uh, this is what it looks like. It doesn't smell that good. It smells kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. It comes out, you scoop it up, and then you can put it directly on the canvas. And when it dries, you see this? Okay, so this is pencil with this cold wax on top of it. And then the cold wax, you put it on, you let it dry, and then you put a little bit of paint on top of it so the pigment of it goes. So you have the white of the gesso with the drawing and the wax, and then on top of that, this pigment. So the result is that it looks like it's glowing. It has this luminous quality. So once I discovered this, because I, I live for figuring that type of stuff out in the studio. I just sit here and I think about it, and I'm like, what if you did this? What if you did that? Uh, so this was a technique that I got very excited because it, it's this way of making these colors very fluorescent. It's like the white is shining through this layer of wax with the light underneath. So, uh, so in the Jacques painting, that's what's going on in the background. Um, there's this wax and thin layer of this, um, this green color that I found that's like super bright, fluorescent, I forget what it's called. Um, but that color, I was like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. And then the red on top of it, I think is like a cadmium red light. It's like one of the brightest colors. So that's more opaque, everything in there is um, the red is on top, the wax is the green, and that is, the trick with this one is that you can't like mess up. Like you have to do the line or whatever it is, like it's gonna have to be, you can't like redo the, the original wax part. That part has to stay this one thing. So there is this um, tension in it. Uh, which I think really adds to the work. I think it's, um, it gives it this hum, this vibration. So in my work, there's, there's often um, high contrast um, patterns that are like, sorry, I can't seem to like do this, hold this the right way. Okay, so there's patterns with the wood grain behind her, and then there's her clothes, and then she's sort of, more um, stoic. And in my work, the whole thing is the portrait, you know? It's like everything happening 
all around her, the entire thing adds up to this uh, interesting psychological abstraction. There's like, all the wood grain is sort of informing this person, she's in this like, um, she's surrounded by these like patterns and shapes. And I think that often this winds up being, um, the end result is something that's cooler than I could have imagined when I was thinking about painting Jackie initially. Um, so the process, it just, like one thing leads to another and then I find the answers on the journey. And all these paintings in here, I'm trying to find the answers to them too, but I'm pretty sure, um, I'll just do this one real quick too. It's uh, my friend Teddy. This is gonna be for my LA show. And um, I'm using that same wax technique with these kind of psychedelic plants. And so I wanted to have this painting that was sort of like an interior, exterior um, play go on, interplay. And I wanted the outside to be pretty wild, but then it turned out that the ceiling I was using, I was painting all these different shapes and colors to sort of become, they were gonna be this underpainting for the light that was gonna be coming in from behind. But then the underpainting looked so exciting. So I had to, part of my process is I do something and I look at it and I go, oh my God, this is, this is cool. I need to just let this be what it is. So, um, so yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> sorry, I've never really made a selfie video, so I feel like I'm not exactly Martin Scorsese right now. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's my deal. Um, yeah, cool painting. I hope to see it in person again someday. So thanks, and uh, see you later, bye.